All right. I just wanted to point out that if you notice, this is a neodymium magnet, and there's a nut here that can tighten it down. And up here is a neodymium magnet, a nut to you can tighten it down. There's identical magnets inside the wings. These magnets are very powerful, even the little ones. If this nut wasn't holding this down, this magnet would probably be floating all the way up to here. So, what is new and, you, you, new and unique about this, and why it didn't go against Earnshaw's theorem, is because this is under pressure, and this is under pressure here, which keeps it from bouncing up and down, and it works quite well. All right? Also, the next point of friction would be the, you know, it's easy, the force that as this is going this away, this is being pushed back into the back of this bearing or everything. So, how I solved that problem is, <clears throat> this is a bearing here, this is aluminum. This would, the, sh the uh, shaft here would be extended all the way up through, this would be mounted here some way, and <clears throat> on top of the shaft would be this magnet. This magnet this magnet is not magnetized heads and tails. This magnet is magnetized side to side. This is north and this is south. I mean, positive and negative. When it's put in this bearing, thusly, and I turn it on, it's much like a maglift train. And it generates electricity in this, causing the EMF force. Now, <clears throat> I'm putting full weight on this thing. Now watch this. <laughs> I'm pushing down fairly hard on this. Look at it. This is a very flat, so I can see. So it's more level. All right, come back up, Nick. Although it feels... What? I'm putting out some pretty good pressure here. Although it feels... Okay, touch this, Sharon. Touch that. How does it feel? Cold. Touch this. Kind of warm. All right. What's happening is plus negative generating electricity causing electromotive force. Even though this is like pushed hard into this and it feels like it's actually touching, this is actually not touching this bearing. This will get warm. This will maintain perfectly cold because it's on a ridiculously small electro, you know, uh, uh, Push quite hard into here. Anyhow, cold, warm. This is not touching this. An actual, in reality, frictionless bearing. Yes, I said it. It's, uh, it's quite remarkable. All right. Um. A real one, a real one, frictionless bearing. Um, oh shoot, here's the battery. Got a light, it's not an LED, it come out of a uh, heater, you know, an indicator light that it's on. Can't believe this. Or, you, see the, you see the wires? No, not them. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> um, it came out of a 110 heater. I got a resistor in here too. So it doesn't light up as bright as it, it would before I put the resistor in, but I thought you might like the resistor. So it's under load. Um, when you short the coils out, that's, that's under load, but that's fine. Um, I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. Once again, a six volt motor. Nope, six volt battery. I was reading about. Well, I'm not going to do it. Well, I'll do it. 
you touch your tongue to these uh, outlets here, man, you can hardly even feel it at all. You know, like a 9 volt, it gives you a little sting. And I think that's funny because reading about when you read about, uh, well, all the original ones, got all the all the original pioneers of electricity, that's how they check things, like sticking them on their tongue and how it shocked them and stuff. So, um, there's no reason, it just, it's just a regular generator, but it puts, oh, dang it. how efficient this is, there's nothing holding this motor. This motor's wiggly all over the place. Um, I have to, if I make one with a, uh, there's nothing holding this motor in place. All right. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. Oh, well, I didn't want to underload right now. Um, notice how the motor was turning. I hope that this thing doesn't get on there. Please get on there. Shoot. What is it? Shoot. I got to be, I got to straight, it, it's just all kind of things. But I wanted to show you this before I tear this thing up to make it better. It's a, <clears throat> it, it's a funny looking light, but it's not an LED. But I got a resistor and I'm telling you something, I put this on my tongue, it makes, it makes a blind spot. I mean, it, literally, it makes me blind. Okay, watch, you watching it? Sharon, got it? I'm going to put it under load. It took off right there. There's a light going. <coughs> right. Boy, although it's although it's flashing, it's almost constant. Look at that sucker go. It, that's gaining speed now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Man, <laughs> not really. Dead blast. Okay, look, it's got a resistor. There's a light. It's almost constant. One to one coil and ow to the other coil. Ouch. Um, there's a light. Sharon, it's mm -hmm. a light. Ow. Notice this is constant. I mean, that's how fast that hurt. Okay, thank you very much. This thing is getting so fast. Ow! Look at that son of a gun go! That's the best I've ever seen it. Mm mm. He was going fast that night. It started humming. You're right. The thing is, it is really taking off. The uh, planets are in it's the right temperature or something. <clears throat> this is under load. It's very simple Newtonian principle. Um, I sure appreciate you taking a look at this. Thank you very much. And what? What? Newton rules. What? Say it. I was just... <coughs> we got the flu. <coughs> Thank you. That's enough, okay? Shut... Ouch! Okay, we gotta shut sorry. this thing down. It's gonna... Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off now. Thank you. Thank you.